Boom! Welcome, everybody. We're Welcome. back. Show number 600. Yes, you heard that right. 600 shows of the Off the Lip Radio Show live from Santa Cruz, California. Tonight, we're right here at the Santa Cruz Boardroom at 825 41st Avenue with our number one guest. Well, he was our first guest. Number one guest. And our number one guest. Number one sounds better. <laughs> our number one guest, Come Bob on, Pearson of oh, Arrow Surface Board, is back in the hood. Woo! Welcome back, Bob. Number nice. one. Nice, 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 it took, it, you know, when the guy wants to come on the show, it took some hour and a half to get here from Mission Street. And I know. A five-mile drive took an hour. And I paddled, paddled the, uh, from the pier to pier in 51 Quicker. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it took me uh, about 71 minutes to get over here drunk with a car. So you could have paddled faster. Yeah. I would have picked you up the hook. <laughs> next time. Next time. We'll, we'll have to remember Let's that next that. time. Can I, can I get started with something, TC? Yes. T, uh, Bob, your new van. Your new van that you yeah. have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know if, in fact, that there is an off the video show sticker on the back of that van? You got one on, huh? <laughs> You nailed them already? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Well, yes. I will say with Bob's van, is people tag his van, and they generally kind of stay on there. <laughs> My last one was quite lost from the lost van. It's, strag it's hanging in there. It's yeah. straggy, though. Well, well there's I mean, better things to do than take decals off. You know? I saw Skin Dog put a tag on there years ago, oh, and yeah. it stayed on forever. Dog. Yeah. Yeah, he thought, yeah, yeah. New van life. How long did you have the white van for? A long time, huh? Yeah. Ten it's, years? Yeah. Ten. Longer, oh, right? Japan. <laughs> <laughs> wow, amazing. Yeah. Congrats on that. Let's catch up. It's been a few years. Uh, what, about a year and a half since you've been on the show? Maybe longer. Wow. Time flies. Is that wow. long? It's wow. been a while. Wow. Um, no, we were saying, when was, when was like big gun show we had? That, that was no, last week. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it felt like last week. Uh, what's new? What's, what's going on right now? It's, I know you're busier now. Blur. Been a, everything's a blur right hang now. Hang on a minute, yeah. Hang, hang, hang on a second. Let's just start the show off right. The pants. Oh, TC TC sporting the red He's pants. Man. I broke out the because red you pants. Know Bob, Bob wears yellow. Any color under the rainbow? Right, really? right Bob. What's your, what's your color? What's your what's your color? I like red. To change it up. Yeah, right. You I change like it red. Up. I like yellow. I like yeah. blue, green, <laughs> orange, purple, lavender. <laughs> I bought these just for Bob Pierce. They look great. <laughs> They look good. I did. That'd be a little too much if I wore my red pants. Though, I think I somebody did. that somebody that day Target got a bonus. <laughs> they finally got rid of the red Sales pants. Person. You we sell these the red, in the store you forever. Sell the red pants, you get a hundred bucks. <laughs> that get employee got a coupon. I, you know, what's funny. I don't wear pants. I wear shorts every day. But when Bob's on the show, I yep. break out my red pants. I brought out. What did I bring out? I, you, yeah, you Shoot. blew it. Is what you did. God damn! I told you to go get some cool pants. I forgot. Gosh, don't. Uh, Bob. They look good though. Those shirts are great. <laughs> By the way, can we ask your age? Uh, <laughs> I think seventy-three. Seventy-three years oh. old. I know you had yeah, a big seventy. Born, born in forty-eight, so. Seventy-three. You work every day. Every You're day. mowing more surfboards than anybody probably yeah. in town. You look great. Doing good. Yeah, healthy, stoke, everything. Stoke, yeah, stoke, stoke, stoke. You're doing yeah. just what you want to do. I'm so stoked. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. We're a little too hard, a little too much, a little too, uh, you know, getting materials and getting labor is difficult. And I'm getting more orders than ever. Every year it's just more popular and it's getting crazier and crazier and trying to keep up. And I tend to not say no. I say, yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it. And it just gets a, a bit much. I find myself right now just a little stressed in there. But, but you uh, still like smile, shaped, though, when oh, you're stressed. What I, is that? I shaped Flea aboard today, and he came in. He was all stoked. I shaped Nat Young aboard. I shaped uh, today Sean Burns aboard. Wow. And th those guys are passionate surfers, and I, I'm stoked when I'm doing it, getting mm. it all done. Can I ask so you this lovely. question? So if, uh, if I come in there and order a board, time, the time, you know, what do you, what do you quote me as the time for it now? to be ready? Ah. Uh, and what's the difference between me and that yeah, young, me and that young ordering a board? <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Nat gets his board when, and when do I get mine? You know, the, the, I a, a girl came in to me uh, about a month ago. I'm not a girl. She, uh, she goes, Bob, I'll pay you double if you can hurry up and push my board through. A double? Double. Yeah. And I looked at her and I said, hey, That's generous, but I can't do it because if I do that, that means I'm not doing his board and his board or her board or this board, and I just can't do that. Put your board ahead of them, and I don't have the time to to work a little harder to fit your board into it. So, sorry, you're going to have to wait like everybody else. So, yeah. What would she say to that? Thank okay. you. Okay. 
Yeah, so she ordered the board. But what did yeah. that young get? What's, what's, what's Bob Pearson shaping that young? And that's a 5 e, five eleven and a quarter. And Sean Burns was 6 1. And Flea was a 5 10 today. Hmm. And are they riding the little wider, hair thicker? Uh, uh, Nat and Sean have extremely a lot of tail kick, just mind blowing. You know, if the average is uh, from here to here, you know, like uh, they're they're out of the ballpark tail kick. Wow, out of the ballpark. So th that's why they get so damn vertical. Mm -hmm. You know, just vertical as hell. And uh, Nat's got a normal entry, whereas Sean has way more nose kick than anything anything out there. Elf shoot, just yeah, absurd, ridiculous. Anyway. It, I said, Sean, so rate, rate this board like on a 1 to 10. I go, well, it's an a 9 or something like that. And I go, what's the one thing? You know, it doesn't paddle so good. And I go, no kidding. <laughs> all that nose kick, you know what I mean? Right. But, you know, he loves the board, so that was it. Well, it's, uh, what, when you name those three guys, like how prolifically on top of surfing those three guys are, you know, flees back harder than ever, more stoked than ever, which is so cool for you. That's like full circle, right? You know, that was in there today, just stoked as hell, making these guys more. He's passionate about doing it, thinking where they're going to go, we're going to take these things, and it was, I enjoyed myself today doing this. Yeah, yeah. it must be cool for you, because you've mm -hmm. known Flea for, isn't like, entire life. 35 years or something. Well, he you know, 40 his years. dad. Steve, yeah, I mean, you know, whatever. And, and then he had his little kid, and then he brought his little kids, you know, Troy too, and said, hey, mm -hmm. make, make my kids some boards. So we made them these little boards, yeah. And Forever. Was, and, and to see him doing so well. He's doing great. Yeah. yeah, he's doing so good. He's happy. He's doing good. Family man, looking good. Yeah. Looking healthy. We've seen, we've seen him change on the show. On the show, absolutely. You know, we've yeah. seen him change. You know, every time he comes on, he's a little bit more just different. Very proud of Daryl. Yeah, he's yeah. surfing really good. Really, yeah, Mr. the beat. Killing. Yeah, I know it's great. Killing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's awesome. Uh, right now, if somebody was watching, they're like, "Hey, Bob, I'm on a board." Are we a month right now? Are you no, six two weeks? Two months. I'm going two months. Two months. Two right. months. I've got. I got. Over 300 boards going through right now. There's and a stun tag all over the wall. That don't have, well, the, and you, they're, and you, they're, the and boards you, are going through. And then I have forms on my desk that as soon as I got sp space, those forms go on to blanks. So currently in production, you're 300 it's boards. Taken, it's taken uh, two months right now. And it may end up getting worse longer just if uh, materials and labor gets a problem. Can you I'm get, having can a real get, labor problem right now. Right. Can you? And also, can you get the materials as well? Though? As well as the labor, but can you get the materials okay? The, I can get the materials, but it's difficult. I got to really get creative, you know, in regards to fins, you know, deal with three, four different fin companies, right. not just one fin company. Right. And, uh, you know, I got hooked up with Rainbow right now, and they're, they're doing really well. Yeah. Rainbow fins. Yeah. Glenn, so yeah. they're getting me. The and supporting the local economy. Uh, Rainbow's awesome yeah. people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. 50 years, right? I think 50, been, well, that, was, that was five years ago. 52 now, yeah. They've been that was doing five years ever. ago, 50 years. How long have you been shaping surfboards? Oh, since since 65. Uh, Your hair is way shorter now than back then. <laughs> I have those. I have yeah. those. I have those two photographs of him. You oh, yeah. ones, right? Oh, yeah. He's like yeah. Grizzly Adams. I had a beard down to here. You know, <laughs> long hair. Yeah. And you and your brother kind of got into this. this dude, some people who may not know your history. It was was kind of a family thing back then, wasn't it, with you? Yeah. Yeah, my brother Doug, Doug and I got Arrow going in 76. Hmm. The store, retail store. Right. Yeah. And then we opened the one in Capitola, and yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's insane. Then he got Arrow, Arrow Realty, and then he became a health inspector for the city, and now he's retired playing tennis every day. Ah, oh, more power to him. Yeah. It's still local? Still right. Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Are, is there a sunset for Bob Pearson? No. Sunset. Yeah, I mean, no. you're so stoked, and you're working your ass Why off. Why would I stop? I, yeah, I don't see that happening, no, huh? No, no, no. I, no we well, need him to keep working until you see it, to have him come back on the show. That's true. A thousand shows. The 900th or a he's thousand. Gonna be, he's going to be in a wheel. <laughs> a thousand shows can come in and be in a wheelchair. No, that's <laughs> eight, It's eight years we got the 600. <laughs> come on, so it's not that's that true. far away. Wow. Yeah. 600, congrats, guys. Well, you were number yeah, one. Awesome. Yeah, we go. We Who's going to be our first guest? I didn't forget that. Who's going to be our first guest? We're like, there's, no new, there's only one person who can be our first guest. Bob Pearson. That's it. <laughs> and you know, that doesn't seem like eight years ago at all. That but he's been on a few times. Oh, time just flies. Yeah, it does. Yeah. does it not? It really does. You know, it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. And all the shows we've done. Like, uh, yeah. You can look back and go, oh, man, the people. Oh, my God. Great characters. Great show. 
Uh, Great. Well done, Unbelievable. Thank you. No, it's not, yeah, no, it's not us. It's the yeah, people it's come good. on. It's not us. We just it's the people come on the show. I don't know what the hell we're doing. Uh, you guys do great. Cool. Yeah, yeah. We've I had... want to get back to some surfboard talk. Yeah. Thousands of arrows. I mean, I, it's is, the number. Is, is, is this is this is there a number? Well, I remember you know like, like time, we're talking about time and and you know a few years ago and I guess gee, that was like about six seven years ago. We calculated out and did some numbers, and we were well over 100,000 boards. 100,000 boards. Well over 100,000. Yeah. That's you know, years ago. 10 years ago or so. So we're hitting so. 170, 160,000 arrows? Know. I don't know. We, uh, we put a lot of ports out there. I'm, no, I guess. <laughs> what's, what's, it, well, and of course you should. I mean, you're, you have been pretty much the man, and so it makes sense. Um, I, I, earlier tonight, I, Neil and I met before the show. And I showed him on Craigslist uh, that there's one of Jay's boards for sale Supposed, on Craigslist. Supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. Which we, and maybe you could authenticate it, maybe not. But it was $50,000. Wow. Is that is that you know if he can get fifty thousand good for him you know if it means something to him that's worth it to him it's fifty thousand and someone's fifty thousand go I'll take that then it's a good good deal. What I was kind of telling you know, I was like that's like a Lucy Page purchase or something you know wants to hang it up in the in her collection but yeah um, and obviously Jay was a special human I mean I, he yeah. was my neighbor when I was on Thirty Six Avenue yeah. he was a great kid he was the most stoked human ever and 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 I think that that board is special and it is valuable and so hopefully like you said. More power to him if he gets it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, and with that being said, how old would Jay be now? He'd probably. You know, oh. Gosh, that's a really good. I, I you know. He would have to be in his forties now, right? Uh, yeah, it's hard for me to do yeah, the math. Yeah, that's. It, but how I'm not so interested in doing the math. It would be interesting how stoked he would be today, because I know he'd be just as stoked oh, as he was ever back then. Oh, yeah, the, the most stoked. God. Uh, what's going on with the big guns? And I know you're always making the guns for that, the boys. Oh, that gun. Yeah, it's, it's a season. Yeah. Flea was in there today and walked around. But you got, you got, you've got two boards. You make Guy Kawasaki and guns. <laughs> right? How many, how, many, how many boards has Guy got? Is, is Guy you know, he was getting a lot of boards, but I haven't, uh, he hasn't come to the factory lately. He has not. No, so we don't oh. get him in there. I gotta give him a call. <laughs> yeah. Time to order. Yeah. Time to, he should yeah. always have a board on order. Guy, get it down there, order a come board. Come on, come on. We're, we're making it. Ton of guns. We're sending them all over, all over right now. Sent them to, uh, Garrett McNamara. We just sent him some to Portugal and hmm. Jamie Mitchell, and and uh, we just sent a dozen a dozen to Kauai to customers. Factory looks like uh, the full gun of guns. Show. Yeah, seriously. It's Any changes in guns that in the last twelve months or two years? No, no, we're. We're because uh, it was kind of changing, you know. The entry was changing, changed. flatter boards, and you know, 10, 10, 15 years ago, I was pushing hard for change and getting resistance, and then, uh, and then it started getting success, then very successful, and then it just went nuts, and uh, the world changed radically, radically, way more tail kick, right. way less nose kick, mm -hmm. got rid of the ridiculous weight in them, you know, and yeah, did a lot of changes, a Any lot of changes. Fins? Uh, What's going on with fins right now? You know what? People are opening up to everything. And the bottom line is, everything works. And you have some guys who love control, so a tri is awesome. You have some guys who uh, uh, love a little looser, faster. So a quad, that's a little looser, faster. Some guys like faster, looser, and more driving. That's a twin fin. I got a lot of guys riding big waves with twin fins right now. Hmm. A lot. And how deep are those side fins on those boards? Twins? Yeah. They're deep. Way really? deep. So Way back. There are big fins. Huh. The accumulated fin air is about the same, but it's two fins, so you don't have to drag the other. But the guys are getting them. They're riding them, and, and uh, they're saying, these things are the driest thing I've ever been on. Drive. So you lean over, you put power into a turn, you get a linear acceleration. You know, it's just insane. I've got a bunch of guys riding twin fins on everything, from short boards to long boards and everything on them. This needs to be. I got my, on my, twin, on my you know, nine six arrow, yeah. stand-up paddle board, mm -hmm. two tiny little fins. You and Laird. Twins. <laughs> you and Laird. Right? That's it. I can ride that damn thing like a skateboard. Two little side bites like on there? Snowboard. Tiny. Like I, think I can go sideways down the way. Ride that thing back. It's like snowboarding. <laughs> it's like snowboarding. Well, see, there, there's my point. Ever, and, you know, yeah. you ask what's people riding, and a lot of people follow each other. What's he riding? Mm. Quad. Okay, give me quad. You know, a lot of guys are doing that. But more and more people are experimenting, and they're testing, and they're learning what works for them. And so a lot of guys are going, hey, you know, I, I always suggest in there get uh, a five-in option so you can ride as a quad, whatever, as a ch uh, 
conditions change, the variables, then you put a different fin in there. One day it's big, powerful, bumpy, stormy, that tri is going to give you more control. So you put a tri fin in, you know. Right. But uh, I've got guys riding uh, 60, 70 foot waves with twin fins. Wow. Yeah. And being lighter, is that good for business? Lighter. We're lighting them uh, up and uh, breaking them a little more? Well, it, actually, uh, the boards are every bit as strong because what we were using boards before are polyurethane and, and polyester resin. So we're doing epoxy. The foam is a lot lighter, but we're doing epoxy. And epoxy is way stronger. The shell's way stronger. And then what we're doing, that we're counteracting, is to make them thicker. And, you know, the distance from the bottom layer up to the deck layer, that, that lamination mm -hmm. makes it really, really strong. And so the boards are insanely strong. Even though I foil my boards, just really blady tails, really blady noses, I, I put really low rails on them. Just their performance, their surfboards, mm -hmm. their knives. You go out there and carve. But uh, they're, uh, they're not really any weaker just right. because of, of the, the thickness and the uh, epoxies. So you're doming the decks, getting more stringer uh, in them. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, a lot stringer. Can I say, okay, so you're, more busy, you're busier than you've ever been. Can't get employees. As a, as a, there's a, as a, we're closed sign as I walk, as I go over there last Monday. Well, there's we're really closed. A, but they're open. How are you managing closed. your life? I mean, how are you managing yourself? Because you're 70 X years old, right? I'm and doing great. I you, surf every day. If you, are you way, still so. surfing every day? Are you able to take time? Are you able to leave the shop? Oh, yeah. I leave the shop. I, I do my thing and then I, I leave the shop. And if there's ways, I go surf. I surf every day. But I used to surf, you know, two or three times a day and eight hours a day. Now I do, I'll do once a day, a couple hour session. But I'm loving it just as much as I ever have, you know. Is he not like the ben, Grom? He's like a Grom. He's like a Grom. He is. You're like a Grom. <laughs> he's just, <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Timeless. Two or three times a day. Timeless. How much was the last time you surfed two or three times a day? It was like two or three years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. Way to go, good. Bob. Good. Good. Yeah, I've been giving the kids a run for the money. Uh, and when you do that, does it, if, does you, when you're surfing, can you like block everything out of your mind? Or are you like, oh my God, 300 boards are ordered? Is oh, it no, I'm, I'm really good at blocking out of my mind. I, when I surf, I'm pretty focused. I've always been really focused with surfing. I, some people go out there and talk, 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 and I'll be out there, someone will start talking, and it's just, I'm not. <laughs> I don't listen. I, I don't want to talk. I want to surf. You know. Right. So no, you just paddle around while they're hey, talking. Hey, and you're taking off and, and surf. Yeah. yeah. So I, I really focus on the on the waves, on the surfing. I do a little talking, but I really enjoy myself. Enjoy the interaction of the people. But you know, out there hooting and hollering, my buddies get a wave, surf good, wipe out, whatever. It's all good. So. So with that being said, is there ever time somebody wants to talk about a surfboard out there? And you're like, oh, all the time. And you're yeah. like, God, this. I'm yeah. over this one, Tadla. Yeah, call me at the factory. Call me at the factory. <laughs> call me say, oh, they'll tell me, hey, Bob, can you change the color from red to blue? And, the and my star, I want the D out of yellow. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> call me later. This? Yeah. yeah. I can see that kind of being oh, a yeah. distraction. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good at I've done it long enough. I, it doesn't distract me. Yeah. High five. Talk, call me tomorrow. Yeah, call so, me tomorrow. Uh, so, I want to talk about, as a paddle boarder, which I'm doing right now, paddle boarding, but, mm -hmm. not so, but that, that, that day you went down to meet Laird, with Bill Romanowski. Yeah. Right? And yeah. the band was the first day you saw someone paddle morning. First, yeah. Right? Can Laird. you talk about that? Can you talk about that? I remember he was, Lair was late or, I think. Yeah. Uh, Bill Romanowski, four Super Bowl rings, you know. He was a bad, mo he was a bad uh, mofo. He was, I think he's the best football player. Well, he, he's, mo he's one, of the most one of the most fine. Yeah. Phenomenal. He worked harder than anybody, you know. Any, anyway, Bill and I have been good friends forever. And. And we're both friends with Laird's. They said, come on down, we'll go surf. So we went down there and surfed a little dune. And we pull up to Laird's house, and the waves are good. Bill and I, come on, come on, come on, come on. And Laird's, well, I'm going to have this and do this, this. And I'll be down there later. So Romo and I went surfing. We surfed for an hour and a half. Anyway, we just start coming in. We're sitting on the beach, and here comes Laird paddling out on a stand-up board. And at that time, the word stand-up board did not exist. And... Uh, it was it was like a, a tandem board, and he had an oar in his hand, <laughs> and I, I I loved it. I just saw him laugh my ass. I'm like, how cool is that? He's out here and playing on whatever flotation device he wants. Out here having a good time. He's passionate. He loves it. He's just I'm I'm digging. It. I, I just so cool. And then he goes out there and it's a little doom. There's like three sections this day, and I'm a good surfer and I could not make it to the inside. 
And I surf for an hour and a half, and I got a lot of waves. He takes off, makes it to the inside. And I'm going, what the hell? How did he make that? I had to be a freak wave. Went out there, did it again, did it again, did it again. I'm going, he was making these sections on that thing. What happened, a little slow spot, you'd take his paddle, paddle, and accelerate through this. Anyway, I, I was laughing my ass off, and he, we're watching him surf, and he's all over. He's ripping the hell out of this thing. I mean, he's just, he's such a great athlete. He's ripping the hell out of this thing. Anyway, he comes in. I go, let me try that. <laughs> so I went out there and flop, 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 yeah. finding my balance, finding balance, and I'm seeing fish. When you prone paddle, you don't see fish. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing fish. I'm seeing the bottom. I'm seeing this thing go out here, caught a couple waves. I did it for about 45 minutes. I came in and go, that is fun. Later that night, I was insanely uh, tired. My muscles. I couldn't believe what a workout was. My gut muscles. Everything was like, what a workout. And I go, I'm going to make me one of these. So I made myself one. And uh, made myself another one, another one. I had a good friend in Hawaii who just started getting in. We made him one. And Nixie, we made a, guy, a bunch of guys in Tahoe them. We had a crew doing it. We called them uh, uh, Hoi Nalo He'es. And it was basically uh, Nalo Wave uh, Stand Up Paddle. Three words. Or mm. Stand Up Paddle. So we called it Hoi Nalo He'e. That, that was it. And we make the Hoi Nalo He'es. Mm -hmm. you know, that, that, that. That's what we're making. Next thing you know, more guys started down the line. More guys started making them. More guys started making them. And next thing you know, they started calling them Stand Ups. So we Took our name, Ahoy, no, hey, he's off and started making stand ups. But, uh, what year was that trip down the point, dude? Oh, 25 years ago, maybe? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. I guess. Yeah, a couple yeah. weeks ago. Hey? I don't know. Right. I don't know. There, but there was, a, there was the first stand up guy I ever heard about, saw, or whatever. Mm. Yeah. Well, Larry. Larry's got a lot of firsts. You know, like when it comes to the Zodiac with Buzzy or uh, out of outsides, yeah. you yeah. know, and like it goes back. Or so we hooked up with Laird and we made Laird. Arrow boars for 12 years, and we traveled all over the world together doing this and that. And was he a pain in the ass? Half? No. Because I've heard he could be a pain in the ass to work with. God, no. He was no. easy for you to work with? I loved him. Okay. He was great. Right. I, his passion his passion is hell. Drive, charge. I would fit, I fit right in with that. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Buzzy <laughs> said he was a pain to work with. Well, his dad, his dad <laughs> came out. Did Romanowski write a stand-up board? What, what, what did Romanowski? What did Romanowski do? We were on uh, on surfboards uh, down there. Did Romanowski we, rush, did, try the stand-up? Oh hell yes! Yeah. Oh yeah. No, right straight away. He still surfing? Yeah, loves it. Good. One of the best surfers I know. Hmm. The guy that has most fun is the best. He Bill? is definitely one of the best surfers I know. Well, uh, you surf with Bill, and it's just you cannot. Help but be stoked and laugh and go, this is so cool. <laughs> you know? You right. surf with the guy who just makes it a good time, you go, God, I want to do this again. Yeah. Surfing's wonderful. Yeah. When he first when he first started uh, surfing, I was working for John Bell next door and he came into the shop and I think he actually bought a board from John, but he I remember him saying, They don't know I'm surfing. Like when he was playing yeah. for the football team, it was all a big secret. Yeah, but then he started doing ads. <laughs> and he did a couple of our boards with some ad big companies. And right there on television, they got Romo, Romo surf. Yeah. And that. So they found out that he was so damn good. So yeah, yeah they, they, they let him keep going. Yeah, well, that's amazing. Yeah, and a nice guy too. He was a great. Oh, guy. he's a wonderful person. Yeah, yeah. that's really cool. Wonderful he was person. a bad mother. He was a bad mofo. He'd kill people. That guy. He would just run into him full speed. You huh? know, he tried. He tear their heart out. He worked out harder, trained harder than anybody. You know, and there's a whole thing of. of, of you know, the, okay, you took anabolic steroids and steroids. And the bottom line is, it's not true. You know, he, he wrote a book saying he, he did, but I told Bill, you didn't do that. And I go, you're talking about HGH, human growth hormone. And I go, when you were taking that, because your best doctor in the world told you you take it for, so you continue the game game, was H, HGH named, classified as an anabolic steroid? And he goes, no. And I went, then it was not an anabolic steroid. The day that you it was classified, did you take it again? And he goes, no. Mm. And I went, so you never took steroids. I mean, it's not right. Yeah. This is this. All of a sudden, you change the classification. Right. By the day you change the classification, all right, that now it is, you know. Yeah. 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 No, well, it's the same thing with like car racing. If if they say that uh, these carburetors are illegal, well, I got to take it off my car and stop using it. Right. You know, it's kind of how it is with with something yeah. like that. Yeah. Can I ask you about uh, the museum? You have we have a museum on the lighthouse right yeah. here. Right, but it's it's you can, you can swing a cat in there, and 
it's so small. Do you think this town deserves, uh, uh, or we should start, or have you, have you, do you have any interest in, in um, uh, getting together and making a, a surf museum that's, uh, that warrants what Santa Cruz has given to the surfing world? What we have right now is kind of pathetic. I'm, uh, I'm the president of the Santa Cruz Surf Club Preservation Society. Okay, perfect. And, and those We're words right, right there tell us what it's all about. Right. One of our drives, we, we, I don't know if you've been watching the television stuff, we've been working on, on, on that for a long time okay. and, and bringing new product in there and doing everything. And we've got, we've got hundreds of boards that we would love to put in the museum, but we don't have the, the space for it. Right. That's just too damn small. And the bottom line is, I don't know if you surf the lane, but there's a cave, and it's getting closer well, and, and closer yeah. and closer, and they're not doing anything about that. And so that, that whole thing's going to fall in the, in the water here down the line. Right. Yeah, and so, you know, there's, we'd love to get another museum going. There's talks, talks about it and doing that. The city's way into doing it. You know, we're talking with the mayor and, and plans and this and that, but uh, right now there's nothing in the works for that. Right. Yeah. But we, we, we need it, right? Oh, Santa Cruz. Right. Yeah, this is a, Santa Cruz is the first place they ever surfed on the West Coast. Right. In 1885, three Hawaiian princes came out here and surfed, surfed this place. And so mm -hmm. this is, talk about Surf City. Yeah. And we have truly, you know, just the history we have of the surfers and, and the, the, the ways we have here, the history we have. Talk about a great museum. It, the museum itself would pay for itself and create an incredible draw. Right. Right. It would be amazing. I agree. Yeah. Almost like if you had something which is the, the sanctuary museum. Like to me that'd be a fantastic museum. Yeah. Kick those guys out. <laughs> Move right in. You know, that'd be amazing. <laughs> We're working with them right now. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm gonna kick those guys out. I'm, I'm gonna suggest a canto I'm suggesting the canto company, you know, should have something at the boardwalk there and yeah, yes, great. But we should, they should uh, have a museum. Yeah, you know, there should be a museum, but should be sponsored. Neil, you're by, right. You're, you're right, buddy. We've got. Uh, I was uh, just down at Huntington Beach. I'm uh, in part of this. Uh, what is it? Uh, the California Shapers Hall of Fame. Oh, there right. Hall of Fame. We had a thing down there, and we all went down there and saw Tom Mori. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, two, got, he was two there, day, right? Two days before he passed, uh, Tom and I are good buddies. We're you know hanging the together, you know. And, Greg Knoll before that, and, uh, anyway. Um, we were talking about the museum, the Santa, Santa Cruz Museum, the one they have there at Huntington Beach, and we went down there and hung out there. And the that California Surf Museum they have down there is incredible. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and it's also and, like 10 times the size of what we have here. Yeah. It's really big. Yeah. More than, yeah. And the one in Santa Clemente, the Heritage. The, that's, that's very, that one's exceptionally cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we need one here. It's in the plans, but then we, we got to talk to Canfield and... Yeah, and, and, I hope and, so. And, and, yeah. Absolutely. How long until you think the Mark Abbott Lighthouse at the Lane will be uh, fenced off and unsafe? It seems like it's getting closer by the day. There, there's two caves right where you surf in front. Mm -hmm. That cave is getting deeper, but the cave from the, the west side, that's mm -hmm. big and coming. Mm -hmm. And that the rip from that, this when they connect, it's gonna be extra power in there, and things will happen fast. And I don't think, I mean, nowadays in today's world, even like trying to throw some riprap in there, the permitting and the... You I'm a probably, member of the, of the, the, the this, what do you call it, the, the technical, technical advisory committee. And uh, we've sat down a meeting and meeting and meeting that, uh, talking about the riprap and what to do and how to do it and what to do it and, and the planning and the, the difficulties with all that and the money not wanting to spend and not believe in the riprap and... and Want to, wants to turn back to nature and leave, you mm. know, everybody wants, someone wants to do this, someone wants to do that. Yeah. It's amazing what everybody wants to do. Yeah. And sitting on the same page, getting everybody to agree on something is pretty difficult. And right now, I think it's, the whole plan is let it go. Yeah. See, let it yeah. go for now. For mm -hmm. today, we're going to let it go today. You know, and so uh, that, there's a lot of powerful water moving through there. Once that thing opens up, it's going to, it's going to really impact that, and I think things are going to happen fast. Change the wave of the lane, do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You get different currents going. You know, that, that point really protects that little, it's like a little cove. Yeah. And so it keeps it glassy. You know, you it's glassy there right around the point. There's wind. Right. The wind, and it's mm -hmm. choppy. Right. You get that water go through there and stuff, it, it'll change it. Well, it's very noticeable at mm -hmm. the, the tip of SoCal Point, Pleasure Point, because the, the rocks at Wind and Sea that protected the... Basically, Pleasure Point, they're gone. Yeah. 
And that's made, that's made to, in, my, in my lifetime, a dramatic change out there. Yeah. You know, and yeah. so of course it'll make a change. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. And so that's the plan? To let the lighthouse fall in the ocean? They, you know, there's part of it. I'm a member of the committee now. And uh, the current plan is, okay, from today, we're just going to let it go. Maybe tomorrow we're going to do something. You mm -hmm. know? So the current plan is seemingly just let it go. And when it does get, emotions, I think, get things done. And when it is a point like, you know what, we're going to lose the lighthouse, I think emotionally people will rally. And maybe attitudes will change. Where they, you know, they moved to the Cape Hatteras lighthouse. Um, there's a huge production. And maybe we could back it up. Maybe, you know, maybe. You know, that, that whole venue there, even without the lighthouse, is such a spectacular place to come watch surfing, to see, it's an, it's a, it's see the arena. ocean. People right. come out to walk out there in the lawn to grass the yeah. fence and look at the whole of the cliffs. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing asset to Santa right. Cruz. I believe Santa Cruz should do everything it can to save that place, spot. Yeah, that spot. Let alone, it's an arena. Saying. It's an arena it's that you don't. Spectacular. It's like the red rocks of surfing. You know, it's it's kind of like that. Yeah. Th that important. Yeah. So many people go park their cars there, walk there, look at it, and just sit in awe over the ocean. What a beautiful setup that is. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I asked you a question. Uh, you've been surfing since shaping since 1960. <coughs> 65. Are you proud of what you've done? What, are you, are you oh, proud of yeah. what you've done? And number two, part of the question, are you, what's your legacy? Can you talk about what you think you've done? And I know you don't want to talk about yourself because you're shy and you're ready to walk out the door. But, <laughs> you know, but you are wearing white pants. He's wearing red pants, so fuck it. You know, I, I don't think about legacy or, or the past. I, I think about the future and, and what I'm doing tomorrow, not what I did yesterday. Okay. What I did today, and how does that relate? But, you know, I... I uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to shaping tomorrow. I'm looking forward to surfing tomorrow. I'm looking forward to being with the family tomorrow, my friends. Like, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward. I get up in the morning. I'll go. Hey, good day. I'm looking forward for the day. You know, and the next day I'm going to do the same thing. Right. I'm not, not think about a legacy or, or whatever. Okay. In regards to that, I'm, I'm proud of what I did, and it's, I feel I built a lot of good boards. I stoked a lot of people, and I think my approach is right with. With trying hard to, to give good product and trying to hard to make the right board for, for the people and and uh, I seemingly have a good reputation for doing that and so you know I'm happy about the relationship that I have with the surfing world and the, right. that right well I think I, I look back on like all the boards you've made and how many magic waves people have had on those boards because everybody remembers pretty much their best wave. And so th that, to me, is like your legacy of these people and the magic that you helped them create. I would tell you, so I'm going to tell you a quick story. One time I was at, I was at Cal's or Indicators right there, and there was a, a couple, and they were just starting to surf. And then this, this is right before Johnny Rice. This is when Johnny Rice was on his, in the latter days of Johnny Rice. And he was, Johnny was over here sitting there, doing nothing, just sitting there. The people paddled out, and I see that board. It's a Johnny Rice board. I said, hey, do you know much about that board you're riding? She goes, not really. I said, well, you need to go find out because that board has a lot of history. It's all old. You could just tell it was all board. She goes, oh, really? I go, yeah. I go, here's the guy over there. You know, his, how his hair was and everything, right? Yeah. How he was, right? Yeah. I go, she'd go talk to him and tell him. I said, ask about that board. And an hour later, I was surfing and stuff. Hour later, she's still talking to Johnny. Mm. Unreal, right? But there I think people should. I think people should give you that respect too. Like you see, we. I mean, we were out there. You see, you see, mm. every board is an arrow, 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 arrow. Even and the older ones, the older arrows. You know, I, I, I said, feel hey, appreciated, and I and I love that. I said, go know, talk to I, the guy. I, go talk to the guy yeah. who made that board. Yeah. Do you go like talk. seeing your old boards? Like when they, oh, yeah. when they feel, because I know people must come around all the time and be like, Bob, look at this thing I found. Go yes. Talk, right? No, you know, every once in a while, a board goes through that you go, wow, look at this thing. Or there's some reason, or it got mm -hmm. the cover of the magazine, or, or J. Roy, or, or, right. or, or, or something like or that. Or Barney, or a Flea, or any of the yeah. legends or, that rode your board. Or Romo, or anybody. Yeah, right. Just anybody who's a, a good surfer who really appreciated the board. Mm -hmm. And also, there it is. Ah, you know, a few. Like Kevin Reed, you know, that mm -hmm. uh, some guy brought a, a Kev Kevin Reed in, and they go, is this a Kevin Reed board? I looked at it, I go, yeah. Wow. 
And he goes, and you shaped it? I go, yeah. And Kevin Reed airbrushed that. <laughs> then one of his airbrushes. Mm -hmm. Kevin is. And he is like the guy you just read about who's selling the board for 3000 I mean, This board meant everything mm -hmm. to him. Anyways, I'd like to give it to you, Bob. And I went, well, I know where Kevin Reed is today. How about you give it to me and I'll go give it to Kevin. <laughs> and he goes, yeah. So I heard, hmm. taking it to Kevin down mm -hmm. there. Well, and you made Kevin was, a new board a couple years ago, right? That was, yeah. That was, yeah. Another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Remember? Yeah. yeah. That was a good show, Kevin. That was a good show. Yeah. So it's a board like that just mm -hmm. brings back history, brings back moments, brings back good times. And right. So you put a smile on your face and go, that was a good time. That was a good boy. That was all good. Or paddling yeah. back out to the lineup and stopping your tracks when you see somebody sitting on one like that, too. I'm sure that's happened yeah. to oh, you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. There's some guy burning you and he's on air. He gives you a heat. <laughs> good time. Yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, you don't know who I am? <laughs> I made that damn board. It all happens. It's all good. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, I love that yeah. stuff. It's right? so great. Wow. Family's good? Oh, we're doing great. Yeah, I moved my 96-year-old mom in to my house a couple of years ago. Right, mm -hmm. COVID right. And actually, her birthday is uh, the third coming up this next week. 96. 97. Still good? She's out there weeding the yard. and. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's your slave yeah. labor with your whole oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come home and she's, it looks great. Yeah. And, you, and awesome. your daughter, she's, she's, you know, she's. She, Kyla, she just she's, got her master's yeah. science. She's, she named a worm after me. She did. <laughs> Perfect. What you call it? The worm? Bob Pierce and I. The Bob Pierce and yeah, I? She, uh, you know, she just got her master's at Scripps. Yep. And, you know, the school, the thing, marine science. and uh, That's right. And she went out there and you know, just pulled stuff off the bottom and discovered stuff. And electron microscope, looked at them to figure out, did the DNA on them, figured this is a new species, a new thing. Okay, let's name it. Bob, Bob Pearson. Pearson and I. <laughs> I, I got a word of that. <laughs> it was a, uh, what you call it? A, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we found the legacy. Yeah, we did. Yeah, he's right. going to be a worm. I got a worm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is she, just, awesome. she, she just moved back home, moved in with Pat Shaughnessy. Oh, she did? Yeah. And they got a great place down there. I think Swan. Swan. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Right yeah. The pond. Yeah. Beautiful she place. named a worm after you. Yeah. That is so awesome. It is so cool. I love that. That yeah. is Pat's still killing it. It is. Yeah. Pat's still, it's unreal. That is unreal. Yeah. That's Pat's still killing it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he just got a job at the fire department. So, did he? Good uh, for him. Yeah. He's stoked. She's stoked. They just got a great place. Good for them. Life's great. Mm. Life's good. And is yeah. she uh, going to pursue? Can, can she, she wants to, yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Wow. She'd like to continue in that field. Is Pearson going to go from? What do you... Is there a woman? Is there somebody in your life that we Me? don't know? About? Yeah, you. No, no, oh, are, we, else are we going straight to his head? Yeah, Let's talk about your sex life, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too damn busy, man. <laughs> but, but if somebody can keep up with you, like yeah. ladies, <laughs> what's ladies. going on? <laughs> I mean, what other show? What other show can you talk about Bob Pearson's sex life? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm asking. <laughs> <Easy>. <laughs> 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 Yeah. We're getting the dirt right now. <laughs> so you're so you're uh, you're looking you're to mingle maybe a little bit, huh? No mingling. Yeah. Yeah. Just checking things out. Yeah, yeah. Just ask Neil. <laughs> Neil. Neil's a dating site, by the no, way. Shit, so no. everybody just uh, hit Neil up. He'll message Bob, ladies. Yeah, I'm hooking Bob. I'm hooking Bob up. <laughs> You'll get your board in seven weeks. <laughs> yeah. Maybe four. <laughs> when you date the shaper. <laughs> yeah. So you're you, saying you're having a hard time with employees right now? Yeah. Is that an industry-wide? Because I know our, uh, retail-wise. Three of my employees got COVID. And so they... Oh, I've got Recently? COVID, Bob. Yeah. Like so, right now? Uh, two of them are out right now. And one just called sick yesterday, and he's not sure what's happening. Hmm. But uh, I had three of them out, you know, and they're out for uh, you know, two, three weeks. And I don't have, want them back till they get cleared. You're right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, one of my employees was stuck in Germany, and another just... Airline, just, just, uh, it's hard to get, you know. And are the those employees, the are they vaccinated yeah. employees, or do you know, do you yeah. ask? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Vaccinated, yeah. Yeah. There's so much chemicals down there, that shit should be, you know, that should, that his, his building's a cure COVID. I know, you're thinking <laughs> you're COVID proof if you know, build some for it. I wear the mask all the time. Yeah, you know, right. right. All the time, so, you know. So they're getting it outside of the warehouse. Oh yeah, because you got. I mean, that's the thing about if you're the surfboards. Like first off, I think resin fumes kill COVID. 
for sure. Yeah. But yeah. you know, what's interesting is you said you've, you've changed to more epoxies, a little cleaner for the environment and, and for the, the, the... Well, you know, I hear people talk about that, but I don't think so. Really? Yeah. You know, epoxies, you know, a lot of people get sick with epoxy than polyester. Hmm. Well, the and, gas is faster, yeah, right? Yeah, and, and uh, as far as, you know, dumps, uh, I've got three times as much throwaway garbage that I've ever had. Mm -hmm. You know, polyester, a lot of close tolerance blanks. Mm -hmm. Really close. They're pre-shaped. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, you know, Clark foam and, you know, yeah. And now, you know, I'm using big block foam and I'm throwing a lot of foam on the ground, you know. Hmm. And, you right. know, they say it's recyclable and we try to do that. Right. And that doesn't work out. And they, they say, okay, you can do it and we do it and it doesn't work out. You know, but uh, maybe in the future they'll work that out. I mentioned it to you earlier, but my dump run today was yeah. gigantically expensive. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, the, the cost now of a business to get rid of your trash is yeah, insane. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, amazing. Yeah. yeah. And that's not allowed, that's not allowed, that's not allowed, that's not allowed. Right, right. Is that difficult more so than ever to run a production surfboard factory? Oh, it, it, it fighting everything. You know, the, 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 the government is convincing a lot of my employees to go on, on unemployment. And they're paying them so much money mm -hmm. that they don't have to work, you know? you know. Come on, help me out here, you know. But, uh, well, I want to say I dislike the fact that our government decided to pay people more than they made working. Yeah, a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw my employees are telling me what they're getting on. I wish yeah. I could do that. <laughs> I can't. But we're down ten employees here in my in yeah. our business yeah. here, and I'm yeah. sure you're down, and everybody. I, seems to I got the word out right now. I want to sander and we, with this, and putting the word out here and there, you know, trying to let people know and tell you and tell you to hurry. You know, I want to. Yeah, I, I'm trying to hire people, but I don't want these people who aren't taking care of themselves as far as COVID goes. I don't want to right. get the few of us in there who are try, are being careful right. to get contaminated. So it's difficult. Right. So you're looking for an experienced sander. Everything. Uh, experience uh, all anyone yeah. surfboard experience. Some guy can make boards that they, we could put on the board. Wow. Yeah. Well, if someone looking for work out any, there. Is you there guys. any incentives to come work for you? Is there, is there incentives to people to you get to work for a legend? That's a good uh, one. Yeah. Oh, you, you know, <laughs> learn how to make boards and and uh, get a job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's an incentive. How about yeah. a job? A job. <laughs> no, I, I agree. What what a concept. Right. So, Bob, we get what we. So you were our first guest of our first show, a six hundred show. You are. Offer a guess. We get so we're gonna book you for 700, 800, 900, and a thousand. I think the I first the night thousand. he wore yellow pants. It was, I think it was yellow. I want to do the thousand. The thousand, yeah. 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 And it was, I, I think was, he I think Flea was there. I think Skin Dog was there. And I'm pretty sure I he had yellow pants that show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the gold the first team. show. Yeah, the first show. show. Think, yeah. yeah, they were yellow. I we think. were a couple of idiots. Yeah, we we still are, but that's a fine hacks. Uh, hacks. We'll do it for, so for the thousand. We'll bring Skinny back. We'll bring Flea back. Yeah, and we'll do a one thousand. Wow, show. that's yeah. so cool. That we'll do that yeah. for sure. Yeah, we're not going anywhere, are we? No. Yeah, not we got cheap rent now. Cheap rent. We got music. <laughs> go, they want the music in Capitola. You I see, know. they all want the music in Capitola. We're going down there with bands. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. Well, um, and I next would, time I would just way, like to say. By the way, next one was next time we do a Bob Pearson show. We're doing it at the shop. Oh, great idea. Can we do that? Yeah. In, in your shaping room? Oh, I ship yeah. right here. I, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, it would be good. Yeah. That'd be unreal. Yeah, it'd be really cool. It'd yeah, be put a great that show. in your back, backpack. We yeah, yeah. Back Piece of cake. Yeah. yeah, we can drink wine in the shaping room. That's, yeah. All right. <laughs> good call. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we, right? We, what a show it is over there right now. It's just, we got so many bars going through. So many colorful bars. So yeah. many, just so different sizes. We got, we got little toe boards. We got a, uh, 36 wide, 12 6 SUP boat. Holy foil? Smoke. Four doing, person boat. Are you oh, doing big boy. Foil stuff? Yeah. 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 They're doing everything. Everything. You know what we'll do is we'll do a tour. Yeah. We'll make it a tour show. And it's a colorful tour. You go to his shop. Yeah. It's very colorful. We're going to be doing, uh, we've got order for four uh, of those tannivores that we put uh, chairs on, yeah. fiber chair, right. quadriplegics. Right. 
Oh. You take him surfing, 15 footers. Was it your mom on the one? Yeah, your mom, you yeah. took your mom right. out. Your mom yeah. was, huh? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, your mom was. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Saturday. It, it, we take quadriplegics out there, pa- yeah. paraplegics. They just sit in this chair. It's a nice bucket chair. It's a race. Mm-hmm. Race Carbon seat. fiber mm-hmm. seat. You just, you're locked in. Mm-hmm. Just locked in, beautiful. And Shove them <laughs> in. Yeah. Out there. Mike Gearhart were out there, and she, right. my mom didn't have a hat. And Mike had his hat on. He paddled over there and gave my mom <laughs> the hat. She's out there. Wow. Loving it. Did you get a photo of that? Yeah. From that day? Yeah. That's amazing. That's a keeper. Yeah. Then my daughter was out that same day, and she took my mom surfing. Oh, Good. man. Tana. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's amazing. I like the idea of doing the next show at there. Arrow. Yeah. Yep. And, uh, which you've been On there location. now. In that factory, over 30 years, right? Now? Has it been? Oh, man, I don't know. But I think yeah, that. Maybe. But yeah. Am I right in saying, who was it I was talking to over there at Rainbow Fins? Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. You'd know his name. Glenn DeWitt? No, it wasn't Glenn DeWitt. Rainbow? It was Fender Glens. But he talked about Thompson Avenue back in the day. Was, uh, uh, was that Thompson Avenue? The was, chicken coops. The chicken coops, and there was so many shapers out there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. In different parts of Thompson, in that Thompson Avenue where you're located today. There was West Cliff, and there was Freeline, and there was Mel. There was me and Croteau. All on Thompson. And Micus. And, was, yeah. was How Novak in there no. too then? No. I feel no. like they're sometime back on I just Thompson. named them all, right? Yeah. They're, they're all from the top to the bottom. Oh, on Thompson yeah. Avenue right there. Yeah, chicken coops. Yeah. yeah. And, and John oh, and That Dave. place never burned out. I <laughs> never know. I mean, <laughs> everyone there was out of control. <laughs> Crazy. And Croteau, was the, he's the best. That's he's the out there washing his car one day. You know what he is? Yeah. That's what he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just buckets and buckets of Asta. We're all just going to, you know. <laughs> You know, lunch watch them going, wow. <laughs> well, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> an incredible movie could be made about Cruto's life. Oh, it's awesome. It'd be awesome. Because yeah. I actually yeah. worked for Cruto when I was young, and he was a maniac. Like, crazy. Crazy. And a... Uh, 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 what he did. Character. What he lived through. Yeah, and barely. What yeah. he lived through. Mm-hmm. But I'm getting a, cut in half for the chain. I married. I measured a wetsuit for him one time. He should have been a football player. He would have been the best. Well, when he was... Surfing a lot, he was, in my opinion, the scariest human on the ocean, hands down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was terrifying. Uh, he was loud. Yeah. And it was back pre cell phone camera. He would just sock you up and send you in. It was it was wild west, man. It was. Yeah. Yeah. And when you were see now, kids can just be like, "Hey, fuck you! I'm gonna sue you." Back then, you were like, "I'm paddling the other way." It's like when Marcel threw, his, threw the bicycle in. Yes. <laughs> Marcel. We had Soros on the show. And I told him the story when I was a kid. I had my bike on the sewer block. And uh, I, he didn't know who I was. And I paddled out. And he was yelling at me. And I didn't even think about it. And then I look up. And he, he thought he was throwing my bike off the sewer block in the ocean. And it was somebody else's bike. <laughs> And well so done, I just, Marcel. I know, so I just kind of laughed. Yeah, and I paddled back in, got on my bike, and rode away. And somebody else's bike's down and just flapping around the shore. Sewer Pete? Yeah. Yeah, that was a heavy place here. Yeah. Pretty funny, but the Cruteau was a maniac, and I can imagine there was very colorful times there at Thompson Avenue. Uh, he was a genius. You know, I, I, people ask me if I ever learned anything. Who did I learn shaping from? Who did this? And I was basically self taught, except for Cruteau. And, uh, uh, we shared shaping room together, hmm. and no one could share a shaping room. But, uh, <laughs> but no, we got along good. It, there's the yeah. respect that was there, and uh, he showed me how to use a planer. Hmm. He was not afraid of the planer, and uh, he had three planers. He called one Chewy, another this, and he got them and he filed them down, bored them out, so these things would just set up more RPMs, and they'd cut deeper, so there'd be a limit to the depth cut. And he'd file that away, so he'd deep cutter. And I remember him just in the these things, and the breakers would go off. You know, he was not afraid of the planner, and he just took that thing. He the whole, she had a whole board with a planner, and I just, hmm. and I saw what could be done with the planner. That's so you cool. You know, it was amazing. Yeah, I don't think he was afraid of anything. Uh, you know, like no, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, no, it I think wasn't. that's hey? I think that's the best thing to say about Cruto. Uh, yeah. He yeah, wasn't tell, afraid. Tell the audience the, the history of him at the, the end. Mike Cruto. Yeah. Uh, what, what, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I have history with Mike. Right. I saved his life. Uh, he was working in Moss. Uh, maybe I told this story, but he was he had a shop in Moss Landing, and I had sold him the FCS fin equipment, 
And my boss, Larry Block, goes, hey, uh, Cruteau didn't pay the bill. Go get the stuff. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Larry? <laughs> yeah, Larry said that. Larry, he yeah. was probably laughing his ass <laughs> yeah. off and telling like, you that. Too. He's like, go get the stuff. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I got to go repo all the FCS fin yeah, stuff. Larry. So I pull up to his warehouse, and the door's open. The music's cranking, like always. And I walk in, and Cruteau's unconscious and blue on the ground. And so I was like... Holy shit! So I called. Grab the I, stuff and run. No, so I called. I called nine one one, and the, 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 the ambulance came and they scooped him up and left. And the fire department's like, "You gonna lock up?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm gonna lock up." <laughs> <laughs> I went over and scooped all my FCS stuff. I locked the padlock. Called Larry. And I was like, "I got it." <laughs> That was the only way you would that off. He yeah. lived, though. He survived it. He would have died if I didn't show up. He was uh, he was blue as blue can be. It was crazy. And so, what was wrong? What happened? Uh, he had like an allergic reaction, I think, is what actually it was. But right. um, it was a, that was a long time ago. But yeah, I liked Cruteau. He was crazy. He's you know? a genius. Yeah. You know, truly. Crazy? Yeah. I don't know. Genius? Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe yeah. genius or crazy. Yeah, guy. both. Yeah. A lot of genius guys are crazy, too. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 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 And again, that's a story that's often... I feel overlooked in the history of Santa Cruz a little bit, you know? Yeah. What a character. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. There's some yeah. stories. I mean, there's some stories that, you know, you know, it makes me that, that's, uh, I'm going to go back, but the, the, you have, we had uh, the four original guys from the Santa Cruz Surfing Club, right? Bob Rittenhouse, right? Yeah. Doug uh, Thorne. Doug uh, Thorne. Doug Thorne. Harry Mayo. Awesome. Harry Mayo. Harry Mayo. And one more. That was it. Is that four? It was. No, it was four. It was four there. Two, three. No, that was it. Three. Yeah. Was it three? Yeah. 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 Just three? Well, it wasn't yeah. four? No, Harry had it? Harry had his buddy that's, that was helping him out this time, right? But, but we took, so we've talked about... Burley. Talk, yeah, yeah, Burley. Burley, yeah. 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 So yeah. We've talked about, we always ask our guests, we've asked you this plenty of times. Yeah. You know, what was your, what was your famous favorite, what was your favorite decade and why? So, uh, and everyone always answers, whatever, I mean, you, everyone's always answers. But I asked them... No, you yeah. asked them what their favorite day I asked them was. What their favorite day was. Yeah, like I, I can't fucking remember, you know, right? But they each one of them, yeah, knew, yeah, and it had completely different stories of Amazing. their favorite Amazing. day of surfing. Still, I don't. I mean, do you have a favorite day of surfing? Do you remember? Uh-huh. No. Do you have a TC? You remember a favorite day of surfing? Yeah, I've won a cloud break. It's pretty special, but, right, I, but I, you, I mean, right, I got yeah. There's a right, few, but you know, but favorite, yeah. Do you have a favorite day? I don't. I don't, I don't remember. These guys, those guys, all three of those guys, I thought, was there three of them? Was there four of them? Three. Three. Yeah. Each three of those guys had an ex- he knew exactly, uh, in, yeah. in clear, like crystal, crystal clear yeah. memory of that, that day. That show's on our podcast, yeah, by the way, cool. if anybody wants to watch it. I remember, was it, Harry was stationed in the Coast Harry Guard, Mayor. right? Was he Coast yeah. Guard? He and he was, guard. but he's, he's stationed at the end of the Santa Cruz War. Yeah. So whenever there was waves, he, he, he would just be like, yeah. turned off the radio, and it would paddle out. The, J- the Japs are arriving. Because <laughs> <laughs> he knew the, he was in charge of getting the commercial boats back up on the war. Yeah. He said, mm-hmm. you know, it was a great story, but. Oh, he's doing well. He's an incredible guy. Incredible yeah. guy. That's amazing. Yeah. 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 You yeah. love the history. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know you're on every preservation and yeah. committee, and you live for it. Well, I'm passionate about the whole damn thing. He, you know? he's his, he is the history. No, you are. You're living history. But you also, you enjoy it and you embrace the history of this town. Those are great surfing. friends. Great friends. And who they are and what they did for Santa Cruz. They're incredible people. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. And Good. your efforts are going to be so thanked by our, the generations ahead of us. You know, the, the efforts you've made to, to continually preserve and embrace and save. Yeah, and, and we've tried since, we, since going back to six hundred show, going back to the first show. Our first, our first, what we want to always do was to record all the surf history in Santa Cruz and beyond. Yeah. And we're blessed to have you here yes. because yeah. all the shows we've done with you, that'll be the first. But how many times you've been on? I don't. We don't know. We don't yeah. care. We shit. We don't give a shit. <laughs> this is but great. People, but here. people, but your daughter will come. Your daughter and her grandkids. Yeah. And her grandkids and her that down the road. Yeah. They will be able to go. They'll, they'll be able to go back and listen to all these shows that, awesome. that, that granddad or great granddad, great great granddad yes. was on. Yes. You know, then we're lucky to do that. Well, these, we're recording. These characters are so cool. What you guys are doing, document it. Yeah. yeah. Right? Do you ever do Cruteau? Oh, no. no, we missed Cruteau. Uh, yeah, I know. We did have, we only person, we did, the show we did that was somebody who was not around any longer was Locatelli. Yeah. We yeah. did Locatelli's show. Yeah. And he was not, right? Yeah. Um, Cruteau, a great quick story about Cruteau was. Uh, at his paddle out, we used my boat. And uh, Bucky, 
Is that his son? Yeah, so, right? Is that one of the That's Noe. No, but... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it, yeah. uh, maybe it is. Um, I forgot. This big boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so we took the boat out. No, Everybody... It's, uh, like something like Magnum or... Yeah, yeah. Magnum yeah. or... Yeah. Uh, anyways, long story short, we, we, we were... Everyone was excited. We're going to pour Mike's ashes into the ocean, and it's just a, a great moment, and we pour in this big gust of wind hits and it goes straight in the Adam Rapogel's face. <laughs> and I was like, that is so crucial! It's like, <laughs> out of nowhere! No, it was insane. Out of nowhere, this big wind comes and Adam's standing there sitting on his board and whoosh! <laughs> And I was like, oh, Kurtz still here. <laughs> it was That's awesome. funny. Yeah, but it would have been great to have him on because, again, we're, we're saving the quotes. You yeah. Know? The, 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 I, I always tell Neil, long after this show's gone, the, uh, the best of, yeah. a, a two- or three-minute best of, mm-hmm. will be incredible. Yeah. You know, because we get little snippets of, of yeah. stuff. And so, awesome. 1,000 show coming up, Neil. That's a long way to We made 600. Yeah, Bob, thanks for being a part of thanks, it. Thanks, Bob. Oh, yeah, love seriously. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I mean, it's really great to have you back. Um, you're our number one. <laughs> Always will Everybody be. remembers their first. All right, TC. Yeah, thanks, man. thanks, Bob. It's great. Uh, Neil, next week, what do we got? Uh, who we got? We got, I got Ross Scott coming on to talk about soccer. Okay, Ross Scott's coming back Where's on. The, we have four the, mayors four coming mayors on. From, from, uh, the four mayors, uh, Santa Cruz, Scotts Valley, Aptop, no, uh, Watsonville and, and Santa Cruz. And Capitola. We're having all four mayors on the show at one time. Yep. Jimmy Panetta, our congressman, that's is coming that's back. In, that's in that's January. Com- oh, coming that's up. in January. Okay. Uh, uh, we got more music coming up. We got a bunch of music coming uh, up. The police chief from Capitola. Okay. We got Wee Man. Wee Man's coming back. Wee Man from the Jackass fame. Yep. We're going to find out all the dirt on Jackass. All the dirt. Yeah, because that's coming crazy. Up. Okay, so we got some big shows. Big shows. Again, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Santa Cruz Waves, thank you for having us. Bob Pearson, love having you. Thanks. Love yeah, you, Bob. great Good to have fun. you back. Good Anybody fun. wants to get aboard, you can talk to him in the water. Imagine. You can call him at the factory. Uh, <laughs> factory's better. Yeah, factory's better. <laughs> yeah, don't talk to him don't in the water. Don't, don't go by there. <laughs> because he's going to turn around and steal your wave. So. <laughs> don't go by. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next week on the Off Lip Radio Show. Thank you for tuning in. Neil, 600 yep. shows. That's yes, right. We did it. We did it, buddy. I'm really shocked. Love you. <laughs> okay. Uh, are we, should we turn that camera off right, right now. there? We're doing it right now. He's working on that. Uh, we man, four mayors, a lot of stuff coming up, you guys.